Hi, I'm Jadi from Geeking with Jadi, and I'm going to start a new series talking about understanding the programming focused on Python. Why programming? Because it's everywhere, it's part of every job nowadays. There is a proverb which says software is eating everything. Python is eating everything. Because Python for years has been one of the top three programming languages and also it's very, very, very easy to use. It's like plain English. Python is fast. As a truth, it's not very fast in runtime, but it's very fast when you want to develop your software, when you want to create something. It's very, very, very quick. There is a joke, they said, if you want to levitate, you just import levitation, import anti-gravity, and run anti-gravity. Most of the times it's like this. Even if you want, for example, run, I don't know, a web server, maybe in less than 10 lines of code in Python, you can run a web server. So many people are fancying Python, even companies. Also, it's very, very, very vast, presents everywhere. It has a huge, huge, huge library. Libraries means, for example, there is a core language you will learn to write in Python. But if you want to run, I don't know, a web server, as we said, you just import web server, run web server. If you are a geologist, you say, import your library, use your library. If you want to work in artificial intelligence, machine learning, you just import the library, whatever you are going to use, TensorFlow, and start using it. This is why lots of people are using Python more and more. But for sure, if you want to learn Python, first you need to run Python. And I have to repeat, these series, I'm not, I'm not focusing on teaching every single aspect of Python. In these series, what I'm going to do is showing you how programmers think. I have been programming for 20, 25 years, maybe 15 years dedicatedly on Python. So I can show you how I think. And I'm not a genius programmer. I'm just an experienced programmer. So you will see that it's not frightening. It's very, very easy if you go step by step and find out what you want to do and tell your programming language to do it. Our programming language here is Python. My main system is a Linux system. Sometimes I'm on a Mac, but since most of the people use Windows, it's also good to know how to run Python in any of these three uh, operating systems. On the Mac and Linux, it's easy it's already installed, whatever distro you are using. If you open your terminal, it should be called terminal on Mac, iTerm, whatever you are using. If you just type Python, you are running Python and you can give commands here. If you want to exit, just do exit with parentheses and you're exiting. Also in some Linuxes, you can say Python 3 and you will run Python version 3. You see here, I have version 3. On a normal Python run, I had 2.7. It is always good to run the latest version. Same will happen in Mac. Uh, what I'm teaching is kind of same between Python and Python 3, but still it's always good to switch to Python 3. Python 2 is obsolete. And it is good to use the latest version, but you won't feel much differences at least in this level. But on the Windows machines, normally the Python is not installed. You have to install it separately. You can always go to your beloved browser and for example, say search for Python, you will find the official Python site, python.org. You can review this, you can check, even you can download Python, but this is not the easiest method to do so. There is another package of the Python, which is called Anaconda, which is another kind of huge snakes. On the Anaconda site, anaconda.com. There is a package which is easier for starters. It includes Python, Python package manager, and lots and lots of standard libraries and non-standard libraries. Standard libraries are what? Which come with Python normally. Non-standard ones, ones are the ones you need to install manually. So if you install this Anaconda thing, 
your life will be much easier. You will have Python, standard libraries, non-standard libraries, many of the famous ones, and also the package manager. So we'll go from here, products, individual edition, and I repeat, only and only if you are on the Windows machine. And you will go to the download, and you have different download options. Python 3.8 here, 64 bits is the normal one that's most, I don't know, recent in 10 years, machines can run 64 version. I have downloaded this to make it quicker, so I will just go to my downloads, we'll install it. The installation is a very normal procedure as any other Windows installation. You just go next, 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 next. Just for me, install here. Add Anaconda to Pat. This is good to have, so you can run it easier. Install. The installation is not that quick. It's around 400 megabytes file, so we have to wait a little bit. But no harm, wait. I will be back when it's finished. No, it's not finishing, see? Now it's an Anaconda, so it will take a little bit of time. While it is being installed, I want to add something more. There are lots and lots of different uh, programming tutorials. I need to make a difference. So I decided to answer each question directly. If you have any questions about any of the videos, please comment them. If I know, I will answer in another video. Not to mix everything in one place, what I will do is I will create another list which is called Understanding Python Q&A and will answer your questions there. This way, I hope we can go deeper and deeper and describe more and more on the problematic parts. So it's like a mutual discussion. It's not like a just one-way video. Let's see. Okay, so if you have any questions anywhere, please comment related to these videos. And I will go and will return back when the installation is done. Okay, some progress is happening. Let's see what we have. Okay, it's now the main thing is installed and it's installing the libraries. If you watch here, there are lots and lots of libraries, which is very useful. So let's wait a little bit more. Okay, it is done. Next, next. No manuals is needed at the moment. And we are done. So now that it, it is installed, on the run menu you will have Anaconda PowerShell prompt. This is a PowerShell, your Windows shell, with Anaconda in it. So you, can, you will be able to run Python. So I will repeat. On the Mac and Linux, by default, you have Python installed. On the Windows, you will install it through Anaconda. If you run Python here, you will see the Python prompt. So now we have Python and we have the interest to learn the programming. Be with me in the next video. We will do something.